Uh, okay, proof time has expired. I call this task the order. This is a judge test for the BP novice 2013. Um, the motion for the judge test is this house believes that it is legitimate for the government to deliberately hide, uh, lie to the to the, uh, the citizen in terms of war. Now I call the Prime Minister to speak the motion standing in his name. Here, here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We strongly propose this motion because the government should <coughs> government should prioritize the whole nation's benefit. So we strongly propose this motion. Firstly, I define this motion. This house is in uh, the liberal, all liberal democratic country. And secondly, the right, <coughs> the uh, deliberately right means the government tell a right to citizens for benefit. So <coughs> this is our this uh, definition. So. <coughs> Next, uh, then moving on to our argument, I have three things to tell you. Firstly, under the status quo, the Japan, <coughs> the because the uh, citizen can e a citizen can easily intervene the uh, intervene war, the the many things is waste. And secondly, and second argument is why the government uh, the why the government tell a lie to citizen for benefit. And thirdly, after plan, <coughs> the whole nation the whole nation can get benefit <coughs> thanks to this life. So I, uh, I explain one by one. Firstly, under the status quo, the, <coughs> uh, the whole, whole uh, sorry, under the status quo, the, the, uh, the whole uh, the citizens can easily intervene the world. Why is this harmful? Uh, sorry, why is this, uh, what is problem? Okay, so, <coughs> firstly, so some, uh, because of this situation, the on uh, uh, sorry, the, uh, the war, uh, war have been stopped by citizen opinion uh, on, on the way forward. So, the, <coughs> the, uh, the many things is waste, for example, the soldier's life and much money. <coughs> so, and the, <coughs> the, more, the, sorry, the citizens decided, the decided, this, uh, decided to stop war by their only emotion, right? So <coughs> the emotion is don't do not rational, right? So the <coughs> so the uh, so the citizens do not uh, citizens cannot decide this <coughs> well, uh, to stop war. Uh, and and secondly, why the government should why the government uh, sorry, the, uh, why the government can is uh, uh, okay. So why emotion is always irrational? Ah, uh, okay, the city, okay, the, <coughs> first, under the status quo, the maybe, the all the citizens, <coughs> all the citizens refuse the war, right? So, but, so, the, even if the, the war have justification, right? <coughs> so, the, what, <coughs> secondly, why the government, why, why the government uh, can, uh, can, uh, to tell a lie, uh, tell a lie to citizens for a uh, whole nation's benefit? Okay, firstly, <coughs> oh, firstly the what is a war? War is a self defense and the the war war means the this war means the <coughs> protecting the whole nation whole nation's benefit. Right? So the if the this war is has been stopped on the way to war, the <coughs> the uh, the na the whole nation can uh, cannot get benefit and the in and the uh, sorry, inter intervene the other countries, other countries' power, so the nations get unbenefit. So, <coughs> so, <coughs> so, <coughs> and the, the opposition opposition side may be said, may uh, maybe may say the right to know is right to know is important also. However, the <coughs> happiness from right to know is right to know is minimal. So, because. <coughs> Because if the comparing the right to know and uh, function of war, the function of war, uh, from function of war, the whole nation can get benefit, right? <coughs> so and uh, so and the if the government tell truth, the citizen, the maybe the all citizens do panic, right? So the, if the all citizens panic, the function of uh, the function of nation 
is this uh, confu confused. So the nation's function is loose, right? So the for example, the uh, <coughs> actually the in Fukushima case, the in the uh, the in the talk as in when talk as space or space to occur, the radioactivity is uh, is flow into the uh, flow into the uh, sorry the. Japan. However, the government tell a lie to citizens for the <coughs> it is not uh, it is so safety <coughs> and it is, uh, do not worry about the radio radio activity. Right? However, the actually the radio activity is a uh, flow into the world, right? So, the, however, the thanks to this lie, the all citizens the uh, the all the Japanese citizens can get uh, sorry the can can be uh, uh, sorry, the, uh, sorry, the all Japanese citizens think that the Japan is safety, right? So that there is no uh, the panic, panic do not occur, right? So that <coughs> so the Japan so the uh, no thank you the so the function of nation is uh, sorry the government the government the government can controlled by the citizens and the <coughs> the uh, the so the sucks the the government can succeed to recover the earthquake. So, so the so, so that's why that's because that's why the government can inter so the government can sorry tell a lie to citizens for benefit. So however <coughs> after plan <coughs> so and after plan the why the uh, so after plan the whole nation can get benefit right because the thanks to this lie the government. The government, uh, sorry, the citizens do not uh, intervene in the war for, for, for getting benefit. So the government can, uh, the government can do uh, war to fin uh, to uh, to get benefit and the pro to protect the nation's benefit, right? So <coughs> the uh, so the after plan, the nation, the all nation. Uh, sorry, the all nations people can get benefit. <coughs> so <coughs> the after plan, uh, it is so uh, after plan it is better. So so that's because uh, so for the, so the I summarize under the status quo that because because the, the nation the nation can inter, can easily intervene the Japan the the whole nation cannot get benefit. However, after plan whole nation can get benefit because the the government can the government can do well to finish can to getting uh finish. So those reasons we strongly propose this motion. Thank you. I thank speaker for speech. Now I call the uh, leader of opposition. So 
based on the rights <coughs> of uh, the country's benefit, so that the, in the result they, they co compare and the, in the result they refuse the war and there is not panic situation. And secondly, uh, the government cannot decide to, just the government cannot uh, decide war strategy because uh, in state school, the uh, liberal democratic country is uh, uh, decisive the vital and the national strategy is uh, based on the majority opinion. So that, uh, so for example, in ele elections, uh, many people can uh, elected by the majority people's opinion. So that the uh, majority opinion is respected in in all four situation, so that the government uh, must di do discuss with the uh, citizen and the uh, citizen and the, the government in at, uh, in whole situation, so that we oppose and that their argument is never stand. So let's move on our argument. Our, no, thank you. Our argument is about. Uh, firstly, I'd like to, uh, to explain the criteria to so whether it is not legitimate or not. So, being strongly, it is not and never, never to legitimation because uh, the world and uh, is a uh, work is uh, concerning health. So, so and the citizen is and also citizen don't know the information received or information. So, in this case. It, the government cannot legitimate the legitimate the, so legitimation. So here is the an analogy. In order to keep citizen health, food uh, the government make a food company prohibit till uh, the sheet and uh, till uh, the sheet and the false food information to customer. So because food company. Uh, 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 can only have uh, information and uh, uh, and uh, the received food, for example, food po is a uh, cause of the food poison and uh, so allergy is uh, the cause of the death, customer's death. So that the uh, in the uh, government is uh, uh, in order to protect the whole customer in the status quo, the uh, can can. Uh, so government is uh, protect the uh, so information and uh, uh, to make wow. the citizen to have uh, information and, uh, and the, the information is uh, concerning health. So it is the same in this debate. So firstly, there is uh, two reasons. So firstly, the war is uh, so do continuing until right. when and uh, it's a possibility to be killed and to be killed. So that is a concerning death. And secondly, the government it's only government have uh, to have uh, information and uh, treat the information. So there is a bad to the customer because uh, so the customer, the customer is uh, never know the true true information. So it is harmful and uh, it is not legitimation. So, yes, open. Ah, okay. You, <coughs> this case is not benefit for citizens. However, the what bring to benefit are uh, what bring benefit to citizens. Why this case apply to wow. So, so I like to uh, answer the in the second case. So. I'd like to second secondary I'd like to context relation when the government write the uh, right <coughs> right in the uh, warning term. So I we opposition side believe so when the so government can good to good in good to the uh, time, the government never write the cons, con, to the uh, citizen because uh, so in the, for example, in Japanese, in the Second World War II, the government write the citizen in order to, in order to, so, for example, uh, so in order to gather a more and more military service. So, so, 
So deceiving, doing deceiving, it is more possible to is a beating time, beating beaten time. So firstly, why is that? It is because uh, so in the no benefit and the no win time, student and the student know the equation. Student want to go. Want to, want to not go to the military service and uh, their parents not to make uh, <laughs> to the because uh, the, it is student is uh, not never uh, never guess want to guess so it is uh, not and the government is uh, so panical to gathering not gathering the service military service so that the so in order to uh, in order to say that more and more students will oppose this motion. Thank you. I thank speaker for speech. Now <coughs> I call Deputy Prime Minister. Consider the example of Afghanistan, ladies and gentlemen. It took a very long time for us to be able to kill or assassinate Bin Laden. It took us a very, very long time for us to completely tackle or minimize the danger of Al Qaeda, ladies and gentlemen. War takes time. And what we need here is the government to be consistent on its policies and consistent in making sure that this war is finished on that particular country. We believe that in this specific context, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about urgency and the need to be consistent. Sure, we yeah. believe that the government has to make sure and to collectively, um, collectively bargain the rights of the people to, to lessen the importance of the, the right to know and to ensure the more collective rights of the, of the country as a whole. And that is why we're very proud to propose this motion. In my speech, I'm going to talk about two things. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the role of the government as the actor to seek the collective rights of citizens. And secondly, I'm going to talk about um, how, in the, how in the after plan, just wars will be continued and, benef and, and this will benefit the entire global community. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two rebuttals to the opening opposition today. First, ladies and gentlemen, it, it, apparently they do not they do not think that um, they do not think that politicians have legitimacy on their decisions. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, we believe that from the fact that they are voting to this particular politician, they have already consented to the policies or to the laws that will be established or that will be enacted by these politicians, ladies and gentlemen. They have already tacitly consented to the fact that when they vote this particular politician, wars will be uh, wars will be created, or if they vote this, for this um, particular politician, wars will be as much as possible prevented, ladies and gentlemen. We believe that during the campaigns, they will be able to see those kinds of inclinations, and we believe that the people have chosen their leader and we believe that they have consented to the fact that their leader have sent them to war. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, they said to us that citizens are capable of rational choices. Two responses to this. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, when we're talking about your friends or your relatives that are being sent as soldiers to wars, we don't think that you're actually capable of making rational choices. You would actually want them to return right away and be home with you safely. But secondly, ladies and gentlemen, when people see that wars are actually taking time, but, with, but the reality is that war takes time, but when people see that war is taking time and that the tax, the tax is being drained to war, ladies and gentlemen, they would actually feel to want to stop this war and war, war already because they would want, they would begin to think that the tax should be used in a more wise, wise way, ladies and gentlemen. But at the end, what these citizens are doing are they are only thinking about themselves and they cannot actually think of the long-term benefit for that country and how this is actually better for the diplomat diplomatic level as well. Because we don't think, ladies and gentlemen, citizens are capable of, ma of making that um, a ma macro, macro analysis benefit for the country that will, at the end of the day, also benefit them as well. This is all from my reputation. Now I'd like to move on to my first argument about the role of the government as the actor to seek the collective rights of citizens. I have two levels of analysis for this. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, at the basic level, we believe that the government ha can and should trade off the interests of the people in society. 
in this specific context that we're talking about, we believe that we have people, uh, we have the right to know of some citizens and the right of those victims and soldiers and the interests of the country as a whole to be continued, ladies and gentlemen. We believe that in this specific context that we're talking about the war, the government has to bargain the rights of the people. And it's uh, bargain the rights of the people and to ensure the long-term perspective, long perspective. Like for the example that my partner has given you about the Fukushima, we believe that the right to know of the people um, was needed to be infringed to some extent to ensure that the people are not going to panic and to ensure that the people are not going to do some chaotic things that are going to lead for more problematic things as a country as a whole. And so on this very basic premise, ladies and gentlemen, we can already see that the government always balances the right to know or the other rights of the citizens in our society. But secondly, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the context of wars. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe that the nature of this is that things is easily escalate within the country because the people are only always in the state of panic or the people are always in the state of fear. When, and we're, when we're talking about people in this specific context, ladies and gentlemen, they tend to act on impulse, ladies and gentlemen. They tend to act based on their emotions. So what the government has to do is to deliberately tell a lie to make sure that they will have to calm down, ladies and gentlemen, so that they will not do these kinds of irrational things and cause more problems. We believe that furthermore, this is actually going to cause two specific harms. One, this is going to cause chaos within society if they actually feel the imminent threat. We believe that the government has to tell a lie that it's okay. The situation is not the worst. Al-Qaeda is not attacking us back. You have to calm down. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, we believe that this is actually going to cause civil strife or demonstration against the government, ladies and gentlemen. And we believe that this is problematic because this is going to prevent wars from, getting, from being finished. We believe that people in the status quo, like with the case of Syria, people are very engaged with the government, ladies and gentlemen, and that they can actually manipulate how the government should act, ladies and gentlemen. If this continues, we believe that the government cannot choose wars that are beneficial for its country, that is protecting its own um, legitimate interests, ladies and gentlemen. We believe that this is problematic in two ways. Firstly, this um, um, necessary wars will not be continued. And secondly, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot go to wars that necessary that really really need the help of your of your country for example united states ladies and gentlemen if always the people are going to be are, are going to be deciding based on their emotions ladies and gentlemen we don't think that these countries these recipient countries for example syria will not be able to have the help of the united states and we believe that this is also very problematic because this is not all this is not only tolerating the human rights infringement of that particular country united states is just simply a uh, uh, is becoming some, in some extent a complicit to this act itself as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is the benefit if we are going to implement this motion? We believe, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, we can, in, we can begin to see, in, we can, be, we can in, calm down the people and we can actually make them capable of making the rational choices they would want to and they will be able to see the long-term benefits for the country, ladies and gentlemen. Secondly, if we implement this motion, some um, we implement this motion, we believe that wars will be protected, wars will be continued, wars that are important for the national interest and for the global community will be protected. So at the very end of this debate, what did we tell you from the opening government? We told you that one, the government has a legitimate interest to lie to the people, to one, to make to calm them down and to make sure that the national interest, secondly, to make sure that the national interest is going to be fulfilled. Secondly, we told you, ladies and gentlemen, that the, from the very basic premise, the government always bargain rights, and especially in this specific context of urgency, the government has to collectively bargain the rights more and limit the, the right to know to ensure the collective benefit of the people, of the entire people in the society. That is why we're very proud to propose. The next speaker for speech. Now I go deputy leader of opposition. Uh, what is uh, benefit and uh, 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 fourthly, after plan, 
uh, uh, Astapram, uh, so many people die because of uh, this plant. <coughs> and before that, I refutation, I refute uh, my previous speaker has said. Uh, they said so. Uh, they said government, uh, government uh, do work for uh, citizen benefit also. However, uh, they they uh, uh, they never explain what is benefit. And so uh, so if uh, benefit is money, so uh, money is uh, not uh, uh, life. Uh, citizen life is more important than uh, money. This uh, <coughs> cost. So life is uh, uh, we uh, we cannot uh, so. Life is uh, only one thing, and so and uh, have uh, money is uh, uh, money is not so, and so uh, and uh, if uh, uh, so and uh, if uh, uh, citizens think that uh, uh, rational uh, rational thinking, if uh, if uh, uh, if uh, <coughs> life uh, if uh, in uh, in the station, uh, life is by uh, uh, or not so. Uh, this is because so life is only one so citizens uh, very uh, think about uh, their life and so uh, <coughs> uh, citizen uh, do rational uh, rational choice and uh, citizen can uh, best choice so uh, their arg uh, their argument uh, does not stand uh, next <coughs> I move on to uh, because uh, my uh, <coughs> my partner has said so my partner has said so. <coughs> So, uh, citizen. So, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the other information is uh, very info important also. And so, uh, I uh, I show uh, another example. So, for example, uh, uh, so and so, uh, uh, so in Afghan Afghanistan case. So, in this case, so uh, so government uh, government they uh, said. So there, there is a uh, criminal. So uh, government should intervene that country also. And citizen, uh, citizen uh, believe that thing. So and then, hi, uh, and so citizen, uh, citizen, uh, uh, citizen, uh, and then, uh, that government uh, do what? Uh, however, uh, that uh, they are not, uh, they are not a uh, criminal. And then, so this uh, war is uh, very. Uh, so this war is not. Not important one. So, how about uh, government do what? And so many people are uh, 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 armies. Uh, life is balanced. Uh, so, <coughs> so uh, real, uh, real uh, information is very very important. And next, uh, <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, okay, we want to uh, uh, new argument. Uh, so uh, firstly, what is citizen? <laughs> so citizen is uh, very uh, citizen uh, in in times of war. Citizen very think about uh, their family also. So uh, so family who uh, go to war. So <coughs> and then citizen uh, citizen want to uh, stop uh, war. This is because uh, uh, this is because so their uh, their family's uh, uh, life is very important, very very important for them. So. Uh, and next, uh, and next, so under status quo, what is uh, happened? So <coughs> under status quo, it is not uh, legitimate uh, for government to very very voluntary, right? So <coughs> and so uh, government, uh, it is difficult to uh, it is difficult that government uh, terrorize. Right? This is because if uh, if a citizen or other country know uh, that right, so. Uh, uh, so they they uh, criticize that government uh, that uh, government and so uh, and uh, and uh, that uh, that country uh, nation uh, cannot uh, do not trust the uh, government uh, the government so uh, if uh, trust uh, lose uh, so government uh, cannot uh, cannot uh, do uh, cannot do as also as a policy also so this is because a uh, uh, citizen. Uh, not uh, not uh, trust uh, them. So, uh, uh, so, uh, so, 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 under status quo, citizen can get uh, uh, real information. And so, and as my partner uh, told you, so uh, it is very important. So this is because uh, uh, thanks to this, uh, social uh, government, uh, sorry, citizens can uh, discussion themselves, and so they, uh, they. Uh, and they uh, can think deeply uh, what is uh, more uh, important for them. So, 
and and uh, and rationalize uh, they can rationalize to us. And uh, however, after plan, uh, 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 what is happen? So after plan, uh, uh, if uh, if take this plan, so government uh, government can uh, terrorize to uh, for citizen. So uh, <coughs> so uh, so government uh, government terrorize uh, for uh, their benefit. Uh, so for example, money also. So uh, so and so. <coughs> and so it is difficult to uh, stop war. So is it because uh, a, a citizen is uh, a citizen are uh, inspired by uh, government information. Uh, so <coughs> so uh, it, it is very difficult. And then, so so many uh, uh, and then, uh, so many people uh, die. Uh, so for example, uh, in uh, World War Two in Japan, so government uh, uh, terror. Uh, they were right, uh, they were right for citizen. So this is because uh, uh, it is uh, difficult that to stop uh, war. And then uh, U.S. or U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, dropped uh, atomic bomb in Nagasaki or Hiroshima. So and then uh, as, uh, uh, not only army uh, armies uh, but also uh, innocent people and, and so many that uh, so, uh, so many people die. So. Uh, this uh, and so and if uh, we take this plan, uh, the uh, same situation uh, will occur uh, in as, uh, as, uh, many countries. So uh, after plan very serious, and uh, that's why uh, we strongly propose uh, oppose this motion. I like speak of speech. Now I call member of the government. Uh, 
Uh, so, taking a look on my argument, I'd like to show you the legitimacy of, the, uh, of this plan. So, we need, we need the word, uh, no thank you, uh, we need the word is a contract between government and the citizens. Uh, so, um, uh, if, if, uh, after the time that the word started, because, uh, yeah, because in democratic country, when the world is started, uh, majority citizens want to start the world because they decided the citizens decided to start world. Uh, so, so citizens admit that their right will be restricted. For example, the uh, uh, the goods that they can buy buy or the, uh, they can't go abroad for things. Or but they admit. The, uh, they admit it. They admit their right. Uh, their right will be restricted, but they want to start work and they want to get the benefit from the work. And so it is the contract between government yeah, and yeah. citizens yeah, to yeah. win the work. So, uh, so we should keep the beneficial that is get, that can be get uh, got by the work and uh, and the beneficial for the citizens. Oh. So. Uh, no, thank you. So, but mm, even in the case of bad economic situation or a natural disaster, uh, uh, the government uh, government has the inform uh, the true information because it is beneficial for the citizens. So, if government is government give right information to the citizens, the citizens will be panicked. So, the government can't do the correct and uh, proper. Uh, proper treatment for the case, uh, for the situation because government should have uh, should take care of the panic uh, panicked or very irrational citizens. So, uh, uh, however, if the government has the information, the government can do the right treatment to the bad situation because they can uh, because they don't have to take care of the irrational and panic citizens. Oh, thank you. And the, so we can go through the worst case and we can improve the situation. And especially in the time of times of war, the as I have said, as I have said, it is the it is the thing that students decided and the and and the we have to win the war uh, in the case of work because if they uh, if students lose uh, later if students lose they, the students should bear the hard time and so and it is uh, because the students will uh, when students will panic is the time in the worst case so the uh, so if we if we listen what the students said the we should uh, the uh, we should stop work in the worst case so we will uh, we will lose the word. So in a uh, because uh, and so if and the will to and because the in the worst case <coughs> that the students will to fight will be very uh, will be very uh, low if we if we tell the bad information to the students. So students want to uh, want to stop work and we should. Uh, and so we should stop work in the worst case. So, uh, so citizens, uh, and if we lose the work, it is a, uh, 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 it is the, uh, it is very bad for citizens because after that the citizens should bear the hard time of economic situation or burden of the money. So, and um, however, if we have this information, we can do right proper treatment to the worst case. And we can continue the work and should so, uh, and can survive well the uh, the worst case. So uh, because the will of the will the students will to fight will not be lower. So uh, we can need the work and students can get the uh, can get the benefit from the work. And it is the uh, so it is a proper case of the contract between government and students. And it is the what students want. So. If from all reasons we wish to support, thank you. I think speak of a speech. Now I call member of opposition.
Okay, entire domain did not give us any analogy. What is actually the you know derivative line, right? We think from our closing domain, we are, we are gonna explain what is the derivative line is, and we think how this is gonna actually rather counterproductive to actually make citizen more angry to the government in the in the world, or in the long run, how that's counterproductive. Moreover, I'm going to explain why the autonomous decision of citizen is necessary, especially in the world, because we think state is not always reliable in times in time of work, but citizen also we think citizens' desire is necessary to decide when we finish work. So therefore we think also because the first priority is citizen, so therefore we believe their autonomous decision is much more important, especially in times of work. So that's why we oppose this motion today. So before that I'd like to refute the entire government bench. So the the huge premise of the entire government bench is continuing, continuing work is good. When you continue work, you always win and you can benefit, gain benefit. But that is not true, right? Of course, we're talking about work. You have a possibility to lose, right? When you lose, you, you lose everything. You lose every taxes, every resources. You kill many people. And But if you stop earlier, you could decrease the harm. You could decrease, decrease the, you know, gain, uh, this kind of uh, harm, right? For example, you can stop you know, future victim and so on when you finish earlier. But therefore, their entire benefit of like our continuing work is good. It's actually not true, right? In the first place. Moreover, they gave us example of Fukushima. Opening government gave us example of Fukushima. But the Fukushima case was actually uh, rather counterproductive, right? Because government lie and hide the information about regulatory active war went to sea. Now citizens in a society get angered to the government how by betrayed by the government because the government was lying and so on, right? Now see a lot of citizens are protesting protesting to the government in the first place. Moreover, the consequence was not good, right? Because it was too late, right? Already radioactive went to the sea and many people suffered right because we couldn't actually notice earlier. So therefore actually their case was rather counterproductive. Are there exam analogy was actually rather counterproductive to citizens right, in the first place? So no thank you. So closing government gave us extension, which wasn't really almost was say as same as opening government, but by saying like they're gonna be panicked and so on. But the only new extension coming from closing government was that this was a contract between government and citizen. But this is a uh, I have two responses on this point. Firstly, this is not always the case, right? Sometimes states just start the work without citizen desire or citizen willingness. For example, Iraq war of the United States and so on. They didn't really listen to citizen voice, but because states just believe their opinion and they started the war, right? Sometimes that kind of case happens in the first place. But even if the contract exists, we think that the citizens are not consent to when to finish, right? Maybe they feel consent to start the war, but they are not consent to when to finish, right? We think citizens also have a right to decide when to finish in, by considering about their benefit and so on. Therefore, we think their case isn't actually supporting this case because we are talking about when to finish, right? No, thank you. So, let me explain my, my point. Firstly, why uh, autonomous decision is necessary in the, in the, in the time of the war. I have three reasons. Firstly, because of the level of democracy we are talking about. The definition of the level of democracy, right? In liberal democracy, free choice, free respect is respecting each idea is the most fundamental thing we believe in our societies, right? So therefore, we allow many religion, we allow many dis autonomous decision. It's uh, no thank you. Uh, in a society, right? Even in terms of the world, we think this idea is respected, right? So, uh, which I'm going to explain actually later. So, because we are talking about liberal democracy, in the first place, we think that autonomous decision should be protected because even in the world, citizens are the one of the liberal democracies, right? So, but secondly, because we think state is actually not fully and fully reliable in terms of the world. I have three logics. Firstly, because state is also full of mess, right? In the times of war, they are fighting. Many clubs is happening in the government itself, and states cannot really consider, cannot make best decision by calculating everything, right? Because of this is in the war. But secondly, because time is limited in the, uh, in the war, right? Because what happens, for example, emergently and so on, and the states cannot actually make best decision by considering about long term and so on, right? But thirdly, because state has incentive to continue the war, right? Because once they start to uh, war. Right. They cannot stop, right? Because uh, until they until until winning, right? Because for politicians think that they are uh, when they finish when they finish and when they lose a lot, they are wasting a lot of tax or money, and they will be criticized by the citizen by making that decision to start a war. But therefore, politicians continue try to push citizens to continue the war without considering the actual benefit of the citizens, right? Therefore, because of the three reasons, with no thank you, we think state is actually unreliable, is not fully reliable in time of war. But we think citizens rather can make basic good decisions because they prioritize their own benefits. The government bench was saying because. 
Because citizens only consider about themselves, that's fine. But we believe that's actually good, right? Because now citizens can consider to compare which is good to win the war and gain, get territory, or to actually finish the war and try to solve by discussion and so on, right? Because citizens totally to only care about their own benefit and try to prioritize their benefit, they can make the best decision for the citizen, right? So therefore, we think, we think because citizens can, their incentive is to make their own best benefit, we think they can make the best decision. But why that is important? Because we think state's first priority is their own citizens, right? Why war exists? Why war happened? Because citizens state want to make benefit for the society, for the citizens, right? So therefore, we think citizens' desire, their benefit, is the first priority we should prioritize. And we think when we deny their autonomous decision and when we manipulate citizens, we think rather that's counterproductive. Quickly, please. Okay. The, can you tell me why the right to know specifically is absolute even in times of war? Uh, that's actually a worry. Yeah, because when we consider about citizens, their first priority is the uh, state's first priority and citizens. And we told the half states actually is unreliable, right? So let me explain the consequence of the proposal. We see two scenarios. One, citizens will confuse in the world, right? Because they can notice this line in, in sometimes, for example, from the internet, from the radio, and so on. They can notice, or actually state is completely lying to me. For example, other country is, for example, denying our uh, identity and so on, even though this is not true. Completely state is lying. That means citizens we would rather confuse and actually get angry to the government in the world. For example, never support the government, rather become anti-government and so on, right? That's going to be rather counterproductive in the world. But moreover, in the long run, we think citizens will get angry after finish the war. The closing government say we, we can tell them the true information after the war. But I think that's rather counterproductive because in the long run, citizens will not going to trust the government, right? Because they are betrayed by the government, uh, uh, citizens are betrayed by the government and manipulated by the states. They, they can know this, this part and they will not going to trust the government. For example, they never follow the government, they never follow the law, they never pay taxes, they do, you know, counter, counter attack to the government, for example, try to collapse the world, government state, because they don't want to trust the government, and so on. And therefore, after they can respond, rather the state is going to be un unfunctional, so therefore we think this is rather counterproductive, that's why we call it. Thank you. I like speaker for speech. Now I call government whip. Mr. Speaker, what we struggle with as a closing gap side is that the word itself is a contract, right? And of course, we, as the open gap side, said, the context for this motion is about the L liberal democratic countries. Meaning that, as my Bernard already told you, the, com the community at the beginning of the word itself is decided by the majority opinion, right, Mr. Speaker? And that's exactly why the government, anyway, uh, in any time, in, the, in, the, in specific in the war time, they have to prioritize the winning itself, right? And that is exactly why we should, to some extent, deprive the right to not. So, or for this, we are proud to propose this motion. So on my substance, I would like to give, uh, give uh, a clarify the two questions. First three, analysis about the citizens, whether or not they are rational or irrational, and whether or not they have the autonomy of the right to know. And secondly, I'd like to show, because this debate is not about comparing the benefits and harm, as my parents already told you, this debate is about whether or not it is legitimate for the government. So I'd like to show that the clutch point for the, uh, uh, clarify the clutch point in terms of the legitimacy. And I'd like to uh, give the deep analysis uh, that my parents, uh, uh, and, 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 and Prove that the government have a legitimacy because it is a contract. But before moving on, some clarification and rebuttals. Firstly, the previous speaker said this is not a contract because in, in some time, times the uh, the word itself is not is not decided by uh, the major, majority opinion, right, Mr. Speaker? But to begin with, 
Even if so, the, the, the poll cases that uh, decided the majority opinion, right, Mr. Speaker, if the, the, if the majority think that the word is not cool, to begin with, the word itself is not a call in that specifically in the world democratic council. And secondly, even if it is not a contract and the, the politicians are selfishly decide to commit the law, it is, a, it, it, it is also the responsibility, uh, the, the citizens' responsibility. Because in particular, in, in particular, uniquely in the liberal democratic councils, the all citizens have the responsibility to choose and uh, to uh, yeah, yeah. to clarify how what the kind what, what the candidates' characteristics, are, right, Mr. Speaker? Then yeah, that yeah. we believe it, it is that that is actually why we believe this is the contract, right, Mr. Speaker? And secondly, they said that the citizens have the right to decide when to finish the war, right, Mr. Speaker? But to begin with, as I repeat, told you, it is a contract, right? If they they, they said because you we we will not like we will not be killed because I had and my son will go to Go 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 uh, go to the war as a soldier. We we, we hate the war. It is the it is just breaking the contract, right, Mr. Speaker? We believe that it means that we do not think that we do not believe that the citizens have to have to decide uh, the right to have the right to decide when to finish when the, the war itself will be lost, right, Mr. Speaker? And thirdly, they said that. If the government show uh, uh, the whole opposition side said that if the government give the Tory right, they will turn, they will not trust the government. But to begin with, if it is so, the, to begin with, the government will not uh, lie everything, right, Mr. Speaker? Because the trust itself is a very important, unique in the world, right, Mr. Speaker? Meaning that the government, uh, of course, the uh, rationally choose what should be shown and what should not be shown, right, Mr. Speaker? We are not sh we are not believing that the, the government will t tell the whole right, Mr. Speaker, right? And also. So the previous speaker said that the, if the uh, 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 okay, the, and it's, uh, the previous speaker said that after war, uh, and we believe that this is a unique extension about the clarification of the government stance. As my parent only told you, we can show the all evidence to the uh, after the war is finished. And the previous speaker said if it, it, it is a code, that the, the people will not be trust the government. Okay, so what? Because we believe that if the government itself win that war, it is a war. It is okay that because. The, the, the people are respected and trust the government because the government protect their contract, right, Mr. Speaker? Moving on. Firstly, about uh, this, uh, after analysis about the citizens, we also believe that, uh, as opening up, I said, the citizens are irrational, in particularly in the wartime. But they said that they are rational, right, Mr. Speaker? But I, uh, two, two responses. Firstly, we believe that I, I found to some extent a contradiction in their party because, as I said, if the majority people are rational and if the majority people Hate the word to begin with. The word itself doesn't occur, right, Mr. Speaker? We believe that the, in, in, when they decided to con get the contract, they are even if they're irrational, that will be the, uh, even if they're irrational. Uh, we believe that in particular in the war time, we believe those people are irrational, right? So that is up to why the government have to protect the, the uh, in, uh, instead of them, they have to protect their uh, ourselves. Okay, and and also, Mr. Uh, okay, moving on to my second uh, second question. We, and we believe this is the most important question for this debate. We believe the government have the Tory legitimacy. As opening up said, the, the, uh, the reason why the opening up said that it is legitimate is that number one, because we can get the long term benefit. And number two, because the government have to comfort their citizens, right, Mr. Speaker? And moreover, I would like to give a deeper analysis because in, uniquely in the liberal democratic countries, this is a contract for the government. But, but before moving on, that, uh, as opening up side argument that it is why it is. Is not legitimate. The opening upside, uh, the, the uh, whole upside. The opening upside said because the government, the citizen have the have to have the right to know. Firstly, because the so, the soldier, the citizens are the soldier, right? So they have to know the own information. And also, uh, and also, not okay. Uh, and also, if the government uh, in uh, 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 provide the information, the citizens cannot discuss, right, Mr. Speaker? They said. But to begin with. Uh, about the discussion, as I said, so what? We don't think that the discussion itself is not important in the specifically in the war time. Because in, in, in that case, it, it actually disturbed the, the winning, the, which is, the, which is the, con the goal of the contract itself. It is actually disturbed itself, right, Mr. Speaker? And moreover, Mr. Speaker, they say that the citizens, because the citizens will be the soldier, they have to know that, or uh, they have to know the information or something like that. that so what? We believe that, as I said, that the 
majority, the words, beginning the words itself, is decided by the majority decision. If they knew that and the information, and they said, well, I, want, I, want, I want to know the old information, because if the word itself is the wrong, wrong place, I do not, do not participate in that place. If it is the purpose and it is the reason, we believe this is totally breaking the, the contract itself, right, Mr. Speaker? And on the other hand, Mr. Speaker, after closing the upside, and we believe this is a unique extension from the closing gap, we believe that the word itself, in specifically in the level of democratic council, is decided by the majority of people. And moreover, meaning that the government's responsibility is that to protect and uh, the, uh, the achieve the promise for the citizens to win that war, right, Mr. Speaker? And also, moreover, as my opening gas, uh, Opening gaps and as my partner all later issue. Even in the status quo, not the war time, even in the status quo, the government actually uh, hid, uh, hid, this, hid some information like the natural disaster or, for example, the NP uh, nuclear problems or, or, for example, the economic recession. Even in that particular, uh, uh, particular time, the government will pro prioritize the long and the uh, hidden information. So we believe those kind of things is not decided by citizens. But we believe, it, moreover, that the more itself is decided by citizens. That is actually why, in this particular context, we believe that the hidden, the, uh, defining the, to some extent the right to know, is a legitimate. That is something we are proud to oppose. I'll propose. I thank speaker for speech. <sighs> Now I call opposition whip.
um, during this um, this problem, they make um, notice and they they will have a rational choice and then um, that's no thank you and uh, <coughs> they and uh, they um, secondly they uh, they say that they, the government can um, uh, the, the government can make a rational choose and um, select letter uh, rationally, and but we we also think it is not true because uh, as my partner clearly told you, and the, the states are also uh, um, the states are also unreliable. Uh, so the states are uh, unreliable in the the time of war because the uh, situation will be and um, we will change and uh, uh, con continue to change change and uh, they will um, the also the, the, um, the, the states also will be um, um, confused and they will difficult to um, they will dif um, difficult to um, decide on what the traditional choice and I'm not thank you and uh, so <coughs> um, after um, now <coughs> let me move on to my argument and I'm not thank you and uh, <coughs> Now, I'd like to explain the class points in, in this whole debate. Um, today, um, we have only two uh, class points. And the first one is that uh, certain this idea or um, thoughts are uh, important or not in the in times of war. And uh, that uh, their, um, their idea is the rational um, or not. And this is a good or a bad and then beneficial for the um, beneficial for the um, for the uh, beneficial or not. So I'll explain them one by one. No, thank you. Um, as I said, first one is that um, um, students' idea is where it is important or not where in the times of war. Um, but um, all government, opening government, told you, um, told you that um, students. The insult is rational and uh, irrational. But our side, uh, our side, and my partner clearly told you that the uh, student, students, no thank you idea is rational because, um, because um, there is a, as my partner clearly told you, there is information to some extent, uh, like internet, and they can think rationally uh, even before before st starting the war and. Uh, but even if it is true that this is not irrational, uh, um, but we we think it is not thank you, it is not a problem because this is their desire and they want to protect their life and uh, especially family or their relatives and so on. And this is what uh, we think most fundamental thing, Mr. Speaker. So we since this is a very important point, uh, uh, like my very clear told you, uh, we think. <coughs> Uh, we think in this point this is the that no thank you we need to uh, we in this point we want to thank you the most and this second one uh, the next next one is the second one and the in this war uh, in the war um, they can um, there are possibility as my partner clear told you there are possibility that the, the government will uh, the citizens will um, notice that they are right, and uh, they get uh, anger to the government, and uh, they will never support the war. And so the whole uh, government side will we want to uh, will tell you, will, uh, want to tell you that um, the, this the government will provide for the benefit for the um, whole all whole countries, and uh, this is the best. A good way to conjure uh, all their um, um, the citizens, but um, if they notice the world and they can't support and the work the, the citizens anymore, and this is uh, not um, this this can't reach to the goal that they the government side will want to um, want to reach. So we think, and also in this point we, we uh, also in this point we. Like the boss, and in this T class point, I would like to was uh, this complete about this motion. Our next speaker for speech now. All speeches are over.